Hello everybody, this is Gwen O'David, the Bathroom Broadcasting Coach. I hope you're managing. This is day three of the British lockdown and uh, I hope you're not going stir crazy. I'm going to let you into a few secrets, uh, some coaching tips for nothing. If you like the way that I work, then we can work through uh, Zoom by the end of the week. I did a course this morning. I still don't know how to use it, but I'll be up and in action by the end of the week. I hope so anyway. And uh, today's subject is all about eating elephants. Obviously not that small an elephant and not a proper elephant because there aren't that many uh, in the area where I live, which is Cardiff. There could be some in your area of the world. I hope this video goes uh, right around the world and I hope it's going to be helping you to get through these tough times. But the whole idea about eating elephants is it is impossible unless you eat them in spoonfuls. And what I'd like to talk about today really is that issue of having an impossible goal, but making it possible by breaking it down into smaller goals. Now, I'll give you an example of my own experience with the Zoom um, training course I did this morning. Now, I'm of a certain age, not quite old enough to have to stay indoors, but old enough to uh, have health conditions um so and i never had computers when i was in school so i wanted to get my business online um and i've been intending to do that for quite some time and work more by skype i've done a lot of skype coaching but not um zoom and over the last two weeks everybody's zooming everywhere so i decided that my goal my elephant was to actually really grow my business online as a coach, as a leadership and public speaking coach worldwide. And uh, so I thought, well, how am I going to do that? So taking things spoonful by spoonful, I thought the first thing I need to do is to learn how to do it. Now, there are lots of uh, courses online that you can actually um, pick up on, but I'm the sort of learner that needs to ask questions on a regular basis, and I need to actually, um, as I'm going through things, uh, I need to make sure that I've I've learned it, etc., etc. So that's what I did this morning. So my first spoonful in this um, direction was basically to learn how to do it. Now I'm going to back that up with my next spoonful, which is basically to use it with some guinea pigs. And then the next step is to learn how to use the videos on it, to use the whiteboard on it, to learn how to add people. And eventually, maybe in a week or so, I'll be doing these things with PowerPoint and flip charts and God knows what. But until that time, it's going to be me, the bathroom stool and the bathroom background, which is the only reason I'm here, by the way, apart from the wonderful acoustics. Um, so... Take one of your goals and uh, whatever that goal may be, we all have a lot of time now in this lockdown to actually focus on those things that we may have been putting aside for a very long time. I live in Wales. I'm a passionate Welsh person and uh, lots of people have said to me, oh, I wish I could learn to speak Welsh, but I just haven't got the time. Well, your first spoonful is sign up for something like say something in Welsh.com. That would be wonderful. There are other people who've said to me, oh, I wish I could sing with a choir. There's some virtual choirs out there. That's easy to do. First of all, learn to do your Zoom, then get on board with one of those. And then there you go. Before you know it, you are singing in the privacy of your own home. Nobody hears you and you're having a whale of a time. Whatever your elephant is, cut it into smaller pieces. Make sure that you know what the first step in. Many, many years ago, I went on a writing course with a wonderful Mike Povey in um, Swansea. And he told us this amazing story about his father. And my father used to do the same thing. Uh, when you had uh, fields that were had been laying fallen for a while for whatever reason, you had to go and pick up the stones in the field and uh, get rid of them before you could do anything, plant it, turn it, whatever. So uh, Mike Povey went and asked his father on one um, day, he said, oh God, I just, you know, the elephant was the field. Where do I start? And his father said, by your feet. So look at the first thing to do. 
break down your task, whatever that is, into small chunks, manageable chunks. You may want to lose weight. Now, it's going to be difficult in these times to actually have some exercise. But what I did um, a few years ago, and I'm still going to be doing it, is I measured a mile. So basically, with the help of a car, uh, I measured a circular mile from my house, right round the houses, up uh, Cathedral Road and back down to where I live. It was approximately a mile. So that's seven miles a week if you do it. It takes 20 minutes. So that was my elephant was really to get fit. You know, we all have an elephant, whatever that elephant is. You have no excuses now. Just get on with whatever you want to because you are never going to be in this situation again. We all have to look at the positives and say, well, I've got all this time in the world. How am I going to use it? So if you're short of ideas, go and check out my website. Well, it's a group actually on Facebook, which is called Gwen O'Dawi, the Leadership and Public Speaking Coach. Uh, there are tons of resources there that you can just help yourself to. Virtual tours around museums, etc. Um and tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about fear. We're all afraid, me included. You're not alone. And I'm going to be talking about that. So um, tune in tomorrow. Share this with anybody who you think is going to benefit from it. If you feel you want to have one-to-one -one sessions with me, wait until next week and I will be up and running on Zoom because I am determined that I'm going to make this uh, turn into a beneficial experience for me, whatever happens, as long as I don't drop dead. Now, hopefully that's not going to happen to most of us, but we must prepare for that. And until then, I'm going to keep busy. So this is your bathroom broadcasting coach over and out. If you want more information, check my website, www.gwenodavid.co.uk. Bye.